In this video, we'll review basic troubleshooting and service procedures. Contact Triplight's customer service department for additional help. All procedures described in this video should only be performed by authorized service personnel. We'll start with battery replacement and power module replacement. Then, we'll show you how to resolve common troubleshooting issues. This video does not replace your product's owner's manual. Follow all warnings and procedures in the manual. Failure to do so may damage your product, cause injury, and void your warranty. The policy of Triplight is one of continuous improvement. All procedures are subject to change without notice. Since this is a general overview, your product may differ slightly from those shown in the video. The batteries included with your UPS will provide several years of reliable service under normal operating conditions. Triplight provides additional internal and external replacement batteries. Before replacing batteries, authorized service personnel should follow these safety warnings and procedures. Use several assistants. Batteries are heavy. Turn off and disconnect the UPS before performing battery replacement. Potential lethal voltages exist as long as the battery is connected. Batteries can present a risk of electrical shock and burns from high short-circuit current. Observe proper precautions. Do not open the batteries or short-bridge the terminals with any object. Use tools with insulated handles. The batteries are recyclable. Do not dispose of them in a fire. Refer to local codes for disposal requirements. Only replace blown fuses with fuses of the same number and type. Do not operate the UPS without batteries. Only connect triplight batteries of the correct type, number, and voltage. Refer to Triplight's website for details. The power modules on select models house internal batteries. To replace these, unscrew and remove the front panel. Disconnect the LCD wire if your model features one. Remove battery cover plates if your model features them. Disconnect the batteries. Remove the batteries. Connect the new batteries, black to black and red to red. Replace cover plates and connections. All UPS systems accept one or more external battery modules. To replace these, use several assistants. Battery modules are very heavy. Ensure UPS is not operating from battery power. Reset the battery charge switch if your model features one. Unplug and remove the battery module. Mount and plug in the new battery module. Reset the battery charge switch if your model features one. Note, small sparks may result during battery connection. This is normal. Select Smart Online UPS systems provide 100% availability with hot swappable modular designs. A maintenance bypass switch allows you to remove the power module for maintenance while leaving a detachable PDU module remaining in the rack to continue to power connected equipment. The replacement procedure only takes a minute or two. Since input and output are never disconnected, it saves significant downtime and service costs. To perform hot swap replacement, authorized service personnel should follow these procedures. Follow complete bypass procedure or the modules that are removed will not be adequately powered down and will pose a shock risk. Use several assistants. All modules are extremely heavy. Attach a PDU hanger bracket for additional support if needed. Disable power alert software and disconnect communication cables. Press the UPS's off button until you hear a beep and see the following message in the LCD display. Press the off button again. Turn the PDU's bypass switch to bypass. If an external battery module is connected to the UPS, disconnect it. The UPS module is now safely powered down and can be detached from the PDU. Remove the screws that hold the detachable PDU to the power module. Using several assistants at each end, remove the power module. The PDU will remain supported, but not secured, on the rack mount rails. To reattach the new or repaired power module, reverse the process. Refer to the owner's manual before troubleshooting any issues. The following procedures are the most common. Displays vary by model. If you see a battery fault warning, the UPS batteries may not be adequately charged. 
let them charge for at least 12 hours, and perform a self-test. If you see an overload warning, connected equipment is attempting to draw more power than the UPS can provide. Remove some connected equipment. If you see a temperature fault warning, there may not be enough ventilation around the UPS. Clear any obstructions or cabling around all sides of the UPS and ensure its fans are operating. If you see a wiring fault warning, the wall outlet is miswired. Have a qualified electrician check the wiring. After a fault is cleared, warnings should no longer be displayed. If they are, reset the UPS by turning it off and turning it back on again. Contact Trip Like Customer Service if problems persist. If you need to store the UPS, first turn it off. Then disconnect it from the utility power and disconnect all equipment from the UPS. Reconnect it to utility power every three months to allow it to charge for four to six hours. If you leave your UPS batteries discharged for an extended period of time, they may suffer permanent loss of capacity. If you need to return the UPS for service, first review the manual to ensure the problem does not originate from a misreading of the instructions. If the problem continues, do not contact or return the product to the dealer. Instead, visit www.triplight.com support. Follow the product's returns procedure found there. Triplight offers a variety of extended warranty and on-site service programs. For more information on service, visit Triplight's website. Thank you for your interest in Triplight Solutions. Triplight offers over 2,500 UPS PDUs, rack systems, cooling, and connectivity products. For additional help installing or operating your product, contact your local Triplight representative or our customer service department. <music>